Tire pressure monitoring systems, or TPMS, have been a mandatory safety system on vehicles for well over a decade. But there are still techs who struggle with their service and repair. Let's see what we can do to change that on today's Mighty Minute. As with any other vehicle system, the key to being comfortable in the service and repair of TPMS begins with an understanding of how the systems work. Back in the late 90s, there was a massive recall of certain Firestone tires that were related to a series of serious rollover crashes. But the issue wasn't the tire alone. Underinflation was determined to be a contributing factor. These incidents also gave birth to the Tread Act, enacted by Congress back in 2000. This legislation covered a lot of areas, including a requirement that OEMs develop a means to monitor tire inflation pressures and warn the driver should an underinflated tire be detected. The first solution the OEMs came up with was called an indirect system. Indirect in the sense that there are no actual sensors in the wheels reporting air pressure to a TPMS control module. What the OEMs did was piggyback on the vehicle's existing ABS and traction control systems. Using the already existing ABS sensors, they analyzed wheel speed and processed that information through a complex algorithm. Over time, the OEMs actually took a more direct approach, that is, developing the direct TPMS system. In the direct system, an actual sensor is installed in each wheel assembly and it reports both air pressure and air temperature to the control module in charge. Banded sensors are sensors that are mounted on the center line of the wheel using a large hose-style clamp. Then there are the valve stem sensors, both metal and rubber, that combine the sensor and valve stem into one unit. All of these designs are powered by a non-replaceable battery. It was originally estimated that these batteries would last approximately 10 years, and that could mean service opportunities for you, inspecting and replacing those sensors that are failing due to their age. Both indirect and direct systems use a dash warning light to let the driver know when the tire has lost air pressure beyond the threshold programmed into the system, typically based on 20% of the vehicle's cold tire inflation specification. Some vehicles equipped with direct systems can also provide dash displays showing the actual pressure in each individual tire, making it even easier for the driver to verify the low pressure warning or to just check his tires without grabbing an air gauge. All of these systems have some very unique service needs, but that's the topic for our next Mighty Minute. Thanks for watching.